こんにちは、リンペイシー、シンガポーサムライです<笑>こんにちは、everybody. So, yeah, here I am in Yushinryu in Osaka, still continuing my training as samurai. Today, I just want to show you guys my real katana, my shinken. So yeah, all real samurais gotta have their own sword and I'm very glad I invested in this piece of beauty, really beautiful. She's uh, from the Edo period, which is about 500 years old. Yes, this is an antique sword I'm using to cut, okay? I know a lot of people say this is a ways to use such a sword for such a purpose, but you know, I love to use a good sword. So, because from the Edo period, it was... Um, illegal for the swordsmith to have their name carved into the handle so uh, we cannot know for sure 100% who made this sword but um, from some of the indications you can tell a little bit how and where this sword is made as you can see this sword is um 68.1 centimeter long from this point to this point with a sori, which is the curvature point of about 0 0.7 and uh, if you look at the harmon, which is the tempered line this is why I call suguha which goes all the way straight and into the boshi here, this you see the this is the kisaki is actually a small kisaki called a kosi kisaki and then the harmon actually wraps around over it forming what I call a yukimune and if you can see with our uh, naked eyes, uh, our late, um, modern modern katanas will like use acid to burn the burn the 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 the, the grains. But um, the real the grains of a real katana you can't really see with naked eye because um, you you really have to acid treat it to to see it. But based on these patterns, the length and the make and the fact that there was there's no blood groove along this thing. This is very likely a Edo period Gassan sword. Uh, the Gassan swordsmith make their sword in this, it, basically in this manner, and they still exist today. The Gassan swordsmith is so one of the very few licensed and living heritage um, Japanese swordsmith in Japan today, right? So another thing I like about this sword, okay, let me put her back in. Another thing I like about this sword is uh, you look at the ziba, which is the huge gut. This is very old, and uh, this ziba is really um, that uh, lotus shape. So f the front and back is different. You can see the back. Can't really see, yeah. Uh. Okay, with uh, menuki, I can't really see the menuki, but you can see the the ziba maki is actually the tsukamaki is actually very old the, which is the huge drapping is actually very old okay uh let's take a closer look and every every real sort here in japan comes with a certification like this so every sort is registered with its make year and everything with the country okay so from the kisaki let's take a closer look all oh, those in impurities you see on the blade right right now Okay, uh, those are oil stains. Uh. <laughs> I didn't clean off the oil for this shooting. You can see the hormone. At a certain angle, you should be able to see the harder as well. But anyways. Okay, so this is the front side of the tsuko. Uh, tsuba, back side. And, uh, oh yeah. And if you are particular about the mune, which is the back of the sword, this is... Um, this is the Huta Mune, which is a uh, two-fold, not three-fold, not flat. I'm not too sure if you can see. And there's a few curvature types, um, and uh, my sword seems to be belong to this type. And really, a samurai without your own sword, you know, it, it really feels like a toilet without the toilet seat. Or, you know, uh, a car without the steering wheel, you know. <laughs> so, yep, here's my sword. How about you guys? You guys have your own sword? Leave me in the comments below. Let's see what I can do with this sword. Annyeong.